We'll never understand Pete, but this will definitely like help. <laughs> Speaking of the star of the show, who's bringing that energy today? Marcus it's Pete, and he's got a movie. He's doing a good job. Getting ready for his career, working at a car wash. Why don't we have to clean this thing anyway? It's just gonna get fire on it. When you see someone like Pete, you know there's a lot going on but you really don't know what it is. I think that people are interested in his struggle. They want to know, how are you doing? You know, what, what happened to you? The King of Staten Island is an opportunity for Pete to tell you about himself and to tell you about his feelings and his journey. What is that date? Uh, that's uh, the date my dad died. Oh my God. Pete is from Staten Island. His father was a fireman who lost his life on 9-11. And it was really so hard for him to recover and I would even say it's just been recently that he's finding his way and being okay. I think he's very fortunate that Amy is his mother because she's behind him all the way. God, it takes a lot of energy to keep up with him and he's been true to mill. Your duck sense of humor doesn't work for me. I find it funny. One of the first conversations we had was how autobiographical should the King of Staten Island be? And we decided that it could be completely fictional, but it's an imagining of what Pete's life would have been if he didn't find comedy and he dreams of being a tattoo artist. But what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get a job or are you gonna leave the house? I'm gonna open that tattoo restaurant. No, like for real. It's never been done before. I looked it up. The movie is like my love letter to my mom and trying to end that part of my life. I feel like maybe we got to a place where we could finally let go a little bit. I think this movie has stirred up a lot of emotions for him though, like both good and bad, but I think it'll be therapeutic. This movie is about things that are very real to Pete and there are a lot of real uh, participants involved with John Sarantino, who worked with Pete's dad, and Derek Gaines, Coulson. Ricky is Pete's best friend. Uh, his other best friend, Dave, wrote the movie with us. I really wanted all uh, the people in it to crush more than anything. We got to put them in a place where they could hit home runs, and they all did. It's just so cool to watch this story finally come alive and watch Pete take something that's so vulnerable. I think a lot of people don't understand Pete, and this is a nice little like look into his life. Something's really cool about someone like Ed admitting to themselves all the faults and all the realities of like how they got to where they're at. I'm even curious to just like get to know someone I feel like I know so well more by watching this movie. Did you happen to get a chance to take a look at the... Uh... I mean, I drew like that too when I was 14. You know, it's a really beautiful thing to share something that's this hard with other people. It's, it's a real gift. And I'm sure like loads of young people are going to relate to this. Someone too scared to take a leap to like do anything with their life, who's hindered by mental health and has trauma. And I just think it's really amazing that he's kind of laying that all out to bear. I'm just hoping you enjoy the movie and that you could relate to it in a certain way. I just feel like everybody's always disappointed in me. You're one of the few people who treat me, you know, like a person. You're welcome. Hopefully it's all been a really positive, life-changing type of experience for him. Hey guys, have fun out there, all right? <laughs> That's what we do, we make movies. <laughs>